But first, we have new details on that deadly early morning shooting in Providence that was first breaking on Eyewitness News this morning. New at noon, we're hearing from Providence police about what unfolded on Fountain Street. Eyewitness News reporter Alexander Leslie is live there now with what we've learned. Alex? Julianne, Providence police were not able to give us a lot of details this early in the investigation, but they do say they're still searching for a suspect or suspects regarding this morning's homicide investigation. Providence police say shortly after four this morning, a man in his early 30s was shot near the 100 block of Fountain Street. We're working the case. It's moving right along. Eyewitness News was on the scene overnight when police had the street blocked off while they collected evidence. Police could not give exact details on the victim, but said he was shot inside a car when this happened. He was a passenger in a car that was stopped in front of that location. Major David LePayton says it's unclear where the suspect or suspect shot the victim from. We're not quite sure exactly how that played out. You know, was he on foot? Did he have a car? Did he have both? Very, so we're still working that out. LePayton adds the victim was with other people when he was shot. They took him to the hospital where he later died. And police have not released the victim's name, citing that they need to notify family before that information can become public. We'll keep you updated as we learn any new details. Reporting live in Providence, I'm Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.